Okay. Let's go up to see what, what Beetle's selling. What are you selling? Yeah, the second dungeon was super quick. Oh, welcome! You find anything you need here at Beetle's Shop Ship? Your point total is two right now. Rack them up and something good will occur. Is selling a bronze member card totally worth it? Um. Okay, well, I don't have a thousand rupees, so. Now I know that that's there. So he, I can get more bombs from Beetle. Bannon Isle. Bronze member card. <sighs> Fucking Beetle. Alright, what's on this aisle? Bannon Isle! Island, the Wayfaring Island. Is this where the guy's dad is? He's got tired of sailing back. Damn, the rumor was false! I need the hookshot or something. thousand rupees while we're on here, this island, that'll... That'll definitely save me some time. Old Wayfarer says... I think I should just definitely log, uh, uh, turn on the game later and uh, just farm rupees. Maybe while I'm watching stuff with Wintry. These nuts! What? Ah, this is a place for those who hunger for a romance of adventure. This is the Wayfaring Island, young man. <laughs> so go on, tell me. Did you find it? It? Hey now. You can tell me. There are no secrets between men of men of adventure. You came to this island distant island in the sense of the elusive beast, the mystical creature that bewitches sailors from the waters of this island. You came in search of the mermaid. The mythical mermaid, right? What? Wayfarers must always be looking for adventure. In my search for the mythical creature, the mermaid, I sacrificed many of my life's, uh, life's pleasures. Fam friends, family, good snacks. I gave it all up to search for the mermaid. Take this pool, for example. That is where the majestic creature will lounge once I capture her. Yeah, I did. This pool cost a hefty fortune for a man who follows his wayfaring heart. You are young with age. I have learned to approach life's questions with passion. So, young man, if you see a mermaid, well, you'll tell me right away, won't you? We men of adventure must stick together. Uh, you're, uh, you're talking about enslaving a mermaid. Speaking of which, did you ever find the, uh, yeah, yeah. I did look. Um, it, uh... I didn't get his, like, gold membership, though. Uh, I got his... I got whatever I needed to get the heart piece, and that was it. Uh, no. No, it was not. I remember it being totally not worth it. 
I remember being totally, totally not worth my time, and it made me want to punch Beetle over and over and over again. Then again, I don't like Beetle's voice. It irritates me. Is that a beaver? Is that a Goron? Are Goron seafaring creatures now? Is that how they evolved in this world? Or is that what the mermaids look like this? The gold go and basically give you free items at a shop? Well, that's at least not horrible. At least that if you needed some items, you could just go to a shop. Only those with the power to shower rock will find the path to a new game. I don't want a new game. I don't have a new game in it. Actually, not terrible for the, for the bank book, though. Only well, 90 more, and I can get more, more, more bombs. Oh, this music! I'm gonna have to play uh, Twilight Princess now. I got my uh, new capture card working. Probably do that on my own spare time, not uh Cannon stand game. Alright, I guess I'll try it. Yeah, okay, let's see. Ah, this game is of skill. It takes place on the vast stage of the open sea. Leap on board, prepare to set sail, and raise anchor. On the horizon, lose the blue target. Man the cannon, take aim, and kaboom! Splash bang a boom You'll blitter the target, earning 100 points. Suddenly a red target sails into it. It fears nothing, for it can't be broken. Every time you pound on it with a cannon, you earn 20 points. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so did you get all that? The record is 2,000. Oh, holy shit. Good luck on all that. All right. Record. Whoo! 
I just canceled my Twitter? Oh no. And hold there. What? 2,520 points? That's unheard of. You need a prize for canon excellence. Pick a chest and claim it. Oh yeah, you beat your record, way to go, whatever. You qualified for this bonus prize, take it. I got my money back, hang on. Okay. I'm not sure what all the rewards are for that, so whatever. Say that was worth it? You gotta go grab a shower? Okay, Log. Well, thanks for hanging out with me for a bit. Today's pretty quiet. It is a Monday, though. Oh, man, that was cool. Lurking now, you're lurking now. So we're very close to getting a thousand rupees. Like we're 19 rupees away, so we may as well try and get that before we uh, leave, and then we'll get Beetles. Uh, Beetles eternal gratitude. You actually do need a lot of rupees in this game. Oh, I'm glad it didn't take multiple tries to do that one, though. It was really close, though. Okay, we need six rupees. That is if Beetle's even going to sell me the bomb that I really want. It might be a... You can get it from here, or you can get it from there. Okay, that was bad. What did they ever do with the pickle enemies? They did just change them into these yellow ones and that was it? There we go! We're up to... Our goal. And surpassed. Okay, let's go see Beetle. We'll buy our next item. It's weird having little islands like this that have had treasure. What was that sale, kid? Oh yeah, we got ourselves a bomb bag. I was hoping for a heart container. Sorry, I had to get away from the game so it would let me acknowledge that I'm traveling to Beetle. There's also two other islands we can explore, so we're gonna do that. What? You're a cat. Go do cat things. Okay. Oh, welcome! You'll find anything you need here at Beetle's shop ship. Bombs. Probably. Alright, we need to remember about that jewel so we can come back to that. Ugh. Oh wow, that jumped up 12 points. Alright. Try to earn 20 points to earn a silver membership. Alright. We're gonna come back to that. And we're off! I 
I know, that's why we went over here. Look there, the island, that island isn't marked on our charts, Miro. And it looks like we can dock there. There, I've just added the isle to your chart. Why not set a course for it? That's the plan. That's the plan, Stan! Zaza's Island. Well, this is new. Okay, so. Naturally, we're gonna cut the grass because we need to replenish our rupee funds. Our rupee stores. This guy's got chickens. Okay, that did not do anything. But, I don't feel like I wasted any effort checking. But again, they're here too, so I don't imagine they're here by accident. There's chickens, so I'm wondering if there's gonna be a mini game that involves cuckoos. Find the stone tiles on, uh, on the east and west of this island. Connect the eastern stones with a line. Do the same with the western ones. Dig where the uh, in, in extensions of those two lines interact. and getting money. So we're already back up to 49 rupees. Can't pass up these blue ones. Listen to those cuckoos. Oh, I didn't even see that blue one. So we're already back up to 65. So we got one right here. So let's uh, mark off. Okay. And then the other one was right here. Okay. So is this going to be the same as it was on the other island, or? I think I was wrong. 
But I am getting a bunch of rupees out of this, so it's not that big of a deal. see it. I didn't do the straightest of lines here. Find the stone tiles on the east and west of this island. Connect the eastern stones with a line. Do the same with the western stones. Dig where the extensions of these two lines interact. So, yeah, the extensions of those two lines would be... spot in this general area. Like I said, I'm getting a ton of money from this. Thank you. starving you want bacon well um, all you gotta do is follow this you go to the sea chart and you go to the top left corner here you just gotta follow this path and you'll get to bacon absolutely worth checking out hey Astral how's it going how was lab today got ourselves a treasure map we can't do anything with it yet but once we get the salvage arm, we will be able to. So in my efforts there, I, I made a whole bunch of money. Totally worth it. 
Ooh, can you make my sword stronger? Hello? Excuse me? This isn't working. Maybe he can't hear us. You don't have to yell. I can hear you, you know. So you guys are on a big adventure in search of the ghost ship, eh? Eh? Yeah? How'd you know? Your Bert? Beret? Bert measurements were perfect? That's good. Humans always think that unless they say something, others won't hear them. Truth is, people talk loud just as loudly with their hearts. But because people have mouths, they don't pay attention to their hearts. There is nothing I have to tell you now, Miro. But there will come a day when you require my power. It is then that you should pay another visit to Zaz, the blacksmith. Sure. Okay, well, what's that? Okay, give me a sec here, guys. It's getting warm in my apartment. Time to take off. <laughs> we should have started on your journey immediately. Hey, I marked it out. I was ready for you, Astral. I knew exactly what you were gonna you were gonna re require today, and that was bacon. So I had a map ready. Let's probably pick up my stylus. Eh, that'd be good. So I ended up buying a little stand for my 3DS. It won't be here till Wednesday though. At which point it'll be too late as I've already completed this game. But we still have it for spirit packs. Kidding, I don't know if I'll be done this game or not. All I know is that Soma QZ loves this game and Astral hates this game. I like the differing of opinion though. Speaking of Soma, I haven't seen him yet today. I hope he had a wonderful weekend. All I know seeing me cut the grass isn't fun, guys, but we need so many rupees for all the stuff in this. I also don't think I'm gonna get all the hard containers because they require you to do some bullshit stuff. Like hit hit some dude a hundred times. With while only getting hit three times. Sounds easy enough since they had you do that in Wind Waker, but in Wind Waker you weren't using a stylus. Pay attention to these clucking bastards. They can lead you to pearls of wisdom. Nice and warm and laid back. There has to be something hiding in a place like this. Snoop around the island. Oh, you did. Oh man, we might even get a new weapon from this dude. I actually don't even know if we get to upgrade our weapon on this. I assume we do. That's a pretty staple thing in uh, Legend of Zelda, but uh, it's very possible we don't. And we're off. the evil pirate chips again.
Oh, they shoot so high, apparently. Let's do it. Shane yelled at me earlier. Fluffy Mick, Fluff, hello! We're playing some Legend of Zelda again. We're playing Phantom Hourglass. Look there, that island is marked on our charts, Miro. And it looks like we can dock there. I've added the island to your chart. Why not set a course for it? Right. I'm doing pretty good, Fluff. Interestingly enough, I had a nightmare last night. It was a randomly generated nightmare, too. Hmm. Interesting. What? Look at the upper screen! There's no map of the side. That means no one's even set foot here. Think of all the undiscovered treasure! That doesn't make sense. How could there be... If no one's been here before? Maybe someone who knows diddly about treasure. Or, um, buried something? But well, whatever. I just know that there's treasure here, Miro. I sniffed it out. Now you go find it. Around the middle of the island. Because we have no map. Lots of these dudes. Okay, so he says... Boing boing! Okay, that was not great. Alright. Okay, no. Maybe you have to hit these stones in the right order. Right. Played game today, studied for an English test. All in all, a good day. Sounds good. On this isle, a golden chief who dwells, who can harness the power of sea cyclones. At his request, I am here to prevent anyone from entering his chamber. You must prove yourselves by hitting four of my buddies in a very specific order. But to figure out the order, you must solve our island's enormous riddle. Ready to listen? The order is very specific. Okay then, I'm gonna say it. It steers with rudder and then makes spray. And third, it paddles, and then sees away. Okay. So this island's shaped like a boat.
mean, you can try to figure out the riddle, or you could probably just do trial and error. I want to see what happens when you hit the right one. Did you know there are gold frogs that are on the sea that can kick up cyclones? Orgasm, yeah. <laughs> Funny thing is, Beetle's in this game, the guy that quotes about Frog stationed around the entire sea? Oh, that's what they're for. Okay, so I don't know if I'm hitting them in the correct order here, but I'm gonna mark off where they are. Birds attacking stuff are mean. Why can't they be nice? Excellent question. Why can't I watch my screen and not jump off into the water? Where I then lose a heart. a variety of swatches and cyclones? So convenient, not that it really matters to us. Golden frogs will slip away unless you use a cannon on them. with rudder, then makes spray, then and third it makes or it paddles and then it's then sees the way. Fluffy, what do you think? Which one of these four should I hit first? What do you think, Fluff? Jake, hello! How's your day going? See, it looks kind of like a whale, so like, what this looks like the, the water spray. I guess? Maybe? I don't know, I'm an idiot. Don't, don't mind me. 
Third, we're gonna go all the way up to the top corner here, because I think this one here is like the paddles. Like I'm almost guaranteed this one's the paddles, because like they're like fins and paddle. Out. Yeah, and then we'll hit that last one last. We're busy trying to solve a riddle right now. How's your weekend to go? What'd you get up to? Wing wing. Did you know the golden frogs? Yeah, okay. There. Did that do it? It was not. So we hit this dude here. Let's get, this might reset it. So let's go hit this one over here first then. Maybe this is like the back of the ship. Oh, you know what? This is a rudder. It's this is the, like the tail fin. So maybe this is the rudder. Okay, and since it's a whale, this is the water spout over here. It makes spray. We solved this! We did it, team! Are we the best at this game? No one truly knows, except for Jake Says Knee. Hello, Jake. Anyway, what'd you get up to? It was good, easy work day. How goes it here? Pretty good. We're, we solved the puzzle. I think we're making good progress in the game. We can't know for sure without P the Magic D, though. He's our progress checker. The eye sees something valuable that's hidden underneath its statue. I need like the hookshot or something to get over there. Jump club! Exactly. Fluffy gets it. The golden frogs! Well, by my golden gizzard, a s well, by my golden gizzard, a slow toe child. Whatever brings you here, slow toe? You stand in the presence of golden chief Silos. I'm so fantastic that I'm the only frog hereabouts who leaps by cyclone. Slick, eh? Slow toe, is that not the phantom hourglass that you carry? It certainly means, most certainly and undoubtedly, that you know old Ocious. We go way back, that old codger and me. He watched out for me until I found safe harbor in this secret spot. He's helping us. He's helping us look for the ghost ship. A girl named Tetra was taken away by it. She's Miro's friend. Ghost ship, you say? I've heard of that jury vessel from my glint guilt minions. Do you have any notions as to where the ghost ship might be? Uh, do you have any notions where the ghost ship might be? Not a clue yet. First, we need to save spirits that are scattered on the seas. Ah, but the sea must be very vast for beings such as yourselves. Vastly vast. Let me help with a gift, Miro. Ah, the cyclone state. Use it to, at sea to travel by water spout. That is the cyclone state. By drawing symbols on it, you can find cyclones too. Want to leap down swim with your ship? Then spring into action with the slate. Could you tell us more about these symbols? My guilt minions are soon all over the sea. Six minions total, sparkling in the sun. Find them, ask them. 
They each only know one symbol. Then, by drawing symbols on the slate, your ship will fly to that spot in a flash. So all you need to do is to meet its golden frogs and learn their symbols. But are you really sure that we can take something so wonderful with us? How can I just sit back and do nothing for you, friends of Oceus? The sea is vast and the th that will help you bridge the distances. Our deepest thanks, Golden Majesty. No, no, that's Golden Chief. All right. Is this the direct sequel to Wind Waker? It is. That golden frog looks like he wants to give me a cheap credit, but later send a man to break my legs if I don't bring the money. <laughs> Fair enough, Fluff. Fair enough. How does that make you feel, Fluffy? did it, yo. I can't dig there yet. Anyway, Jake, yeah, this is definitely a, uh, this is definitely a sequel to Wind Waker. Um, it's directly a sequel too, like, it occurs right after the ending of Wind Waker. Did you find the treasure? What? The Cyclone State? Sounds like it was slate. It would make us sail like a breeze. Let's keep an eye out for those gold-plated froggies out there. Raise that sail. And somehow thrilled. Alright, where did we see our golden friend? So I'm somewhere around here. I'm a ton of money on those things. Break his legs first. Jake, how do you feel about Fluffy breaking your legs? Oh shit, I didn't miss up this recording. Let me reset this. 